You are a blackberry white chocolate chip muffin milkshake. That's exactly what you are. And today, baby dolls, we are going to look at Cardano and Pulse Chain. One of my friends who called me a criminal today, true story, said to me, I think Cardano is going to kill it. I think Cardano is going to go very high in the bull market. I think it's going to destroy Pulse Chain. I said, cool. It's cool you think that. That is a very interesting proposition you have. Why don't I go and look at the actual fundamentals and the data behind it? There is a website called DeFi Llama. So DeFi Llama. Dot com. You can go here and you can look at all these stats. You can look at users, fees, and you can go play around here. You don't have to get too caught up into it, but you can see some interesting things. I want you to know you're not going to find some big gem here because you need qualitative information. All of these numbers, everyone really knows. Like The price is reflected in the activity. So when you see a lot of activity, the price has gone up. It's Remember Metcalf's law? People coming in, price goes parabolic. People leave, price destroys itself. So our job is to try to predict, are there going to be more people coming in the future? That's what I want to know. What does a snapshot look like today for Cardano and Pulse Chain? Look at this. I have a summary here for you. We're going to go through this. You want to know the answers? Well, look look at this, right? I'm not going to make you wait this whole video. Check this out. Pulse has two times more money on the chain. It hasn't even been out for a month. It's less than one month already. It's got... More than twice the money already on the chain. Pulse also. Pulse chain does seven times more volume on its DEXs in less than a month. It's already seven times. And yes, I am using the minus 50% number from the top. I am not using $330 million volume days. I am using $150 million. Already it's collapsed by more than 50%. We're still seven times more volume on Pulse. What about the next one? Pulse is 13 times cheaper by market cap. You know, you could say this. I mean, you could also say that Cardano has to drop, you know, uh, 92%. You could say that, but I don't think so. <laughs> this is You could say that, right? Either, either Pulse is 13 times cheaper or Cardano is 13 times too expensive. But because it's so far down, you would kind of think a lot of the weak hands are out. This is the truth. Pulse chain is way cheaper by market cap. We're going to go through. I'm going to show you all this evidence. Pulse is also now. This is the actual the the critical one. Okay, Pulse is 334 times easier to pump. So you're wondering how do I get this number? It's from the liquidity, the ask side liquidity. So this is what really matters. It's like okay, if I came in with money, how much do I push this? asset up. What that does actually do, you know, Bitcoin has like $400 million. That's nuts. So Bitcoin, if you have $400 million, yeah, you'll push it up like 2%. But in Pulse, what do you think $400 million will do? That's insane. There's only $10 million on the ask side. Okay. Now Cardano is like 77 million. I'm going to show you this. So Cardano is very thick compared to it and it's bigger. So I have an influencer here. I want you to know, uh, he, I used him. You can see it on my Twitter. He was one of the influencers. I used him to call the tops in 2021. Uh, Cardano, Solana, uh, Luna, uh, Matic, uh, Phantom, I think Avalanche. Wow, wow, we're up to six friends. Yeah, yeah, I think he used Cardano. I think maybe another coin as well. I don't want to say it. Maybe it was KDA. I, f I forgot. Don't quote me on that one. But yeah, you can go back. That's like five or six. I literally just used him to call the tops because... He was Bitcoin Maxi the whole way. And then at the very end, he started posting them on his page. He's like, yeah, I'm bullish on these. I was like, okay, time to get out. Time to get out of everything, right? I was literally exact tops. So funny, there's an, he's got a tweet here, right? So I just bought $40,000 of ADA. Guess why? So this is, you're probably thinking uh, like a newbie. And a newbie thinks, okay, now that these influential people here with 600, 700,000 uh subscribers on YouTube, which is what he has, they must be the smart one. No, no. It means it's a reflection of who knows about this already. So it means, hey, this message has come across 600,000 eyeballs and the price you see is already the result. That's how you have to interpret it. 
All right? So that I hope this make, makes it clear, okay? Because crypto is all about network effects, okay? So network effects, it's got to it's got to go through the internet. It's got to go through, you know, through your voice. Other people have to learn about it, okay? But if no one's learned about it, the market likes to speculate. The market loves to give higher valuations to things no one's heard about. You know why? It's because it's not the market's stupid. It's we're smart because we know, hey, there's like there's three billion people out there. All I need is like three hundred thousand people to like this thing, and that that's why you can get these parabolic pumps. That's why crypto coins go like this. Whoa! Now, if you ask each individual person, they are not speaking as eloquently as I am. Right? There's no finesse about that. They go, oh well, I'll just see a new coin, new logo, I'll get in. Okay, but really, when you go down psychologically, if you know, you say, why are you getting in? They go, oh, because it looks cool. And probably other people think it's cool. And that's it. That's all it stops at, okay? But that's what they're really doing. That's why the market, the market as a collective mindset. So if you look at everyone together, that's what it's doing. It's pricing in like this, okay? So that's why when you see big influencers mentioning coins, you're like, uh-oh, they're saying good. All right, so we're going to go through the stats because I don't want to judge. Hey, good, bad, left, right, up, down. Just jazz. You're a beautiful salt and vinegar chip. I want to have a look. How does this chip taste? I want the salt and I want the vinegar. Let's go. Comparing the chains. Now, TVL, this L shouldn't be L. L is for locked, total value locked. None of it's locked. It can move around anywhere, okay? So, Pulse Chain, you can compare the chains on DeFi Llama. So, I put Cardano and Pulse. Pulse and look at this. Look over here. Like, basically, Pulse launched and just rocketed up. There you go. See you later. And if you see this faint line here, that is Cardano. Do you know what's crazy, friends? If you go back in the peak this is when Bitcoin was $42,000 and Ethereum was $3,300. This is 2022, okay? Look at this, look at this. So Ethereum right now is like, what, 1900 So Bitcoin is only like 28 k It was, we had, look, this is crazy, okay? This was a 42 k BTC and Pulse Chain is still higher than the peak of Cardano in 2022. Do you understand that power? Cut. Pulse Chain has more money in at, at lower prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So when the more the money sucked out, we have not recovered that pain, that PTSD, that trauma. We're still winning. With and it's only been out for less than a month. Like wow. And and it's not listed on Bybit. It's not listed on Binance, Coinbase, Kraken. It's not listed anywhere except OKEx. Nowhere. It's already winning. Okay. So I'm not just saying this because oh oh look at this chief for my team. I don't care. I'm just here to tell you. Just like Warren Buffett can identify Coca-Cola or a good company for 10 years, I'm just here. I found deep value. That's it. I believe it's deep value. That's what I'm doing. You don't have to do anything. You you have every right. Go on Twitter. Go on YouTube. Make videos. You can call this a scam, right? You can call like my friend. Call me a criminal. Literally call me a criminal. Not even joking. Call it a scam all you want. I don't care, okay? Because I know in my heart, my edge will go away when I stop getting ridiculed. All right, so yes, I'm well aware I have a peanut brain. Yes, aware. I'm well aware of this, okay? There's nothing in this skull, nothing. When people stop ridiculing me and calling me stupid, it's over. I'll know it's over, okay? There's no more shine. I hope I hope that day never comes. I hope to be called stupid and the R word and every single name and a scammer and criminal. I hope to be called all of those for as long as I live. If I can go to the grave being called that, that is great. That means I'm winning. That's how you know you're winning contrarians get the biggest returns. That's how you actually win, right? It's the same. Buy, you know, buy low, sell high. That's that's what the, the old market adage is actually contrarian. Buy low. The prices go down because sentiment's bad. You buy the low and you sell the tops. Okay? You're selling, buying the depression, selling the euphoria. So look at this. Pulse chain's already winning. So, you know, you can see these numbers. If you have no crypto intuition, you're not looking at the news, you look at this like, pfft, obviously... But yeah, obviously everybody's got these, these deep ingrained biases, okay? So I'm going to go through more stats. I didn't make these up. This is just what's on here. The limited information, the tip. What about the volume? So this one, you can fake all these, but you got to look at all of these together, okay? You can fake them, but we know they're real, okay? Because I'm in Pulse Chain and I know what's real. When I see Tron doing billions of dollars of just USDT and stuff, it's not really, you can't compare it. Because, you know, Tron, so Tron, Justin Sun's chain, yeah, it might do $1 billion, but it's USDT going back and forth. It's people literally transferring. That is not economic activity. That's people sending stuff around. That is economic activity for non-blockchain use case, okay? That's why the value does not accrue to Tron. You're probably wondering, hey, how come Tron does all this volume and why doesn't the money go in? Yeah, it's got nothing to do with it, okay? 
It's like, right? It's like you live in one country and I live in another country. Okay, I'm in Australia, you're in America, and I just send you one billion dollars of Bitcoin, and then you send it back, and then I send it back, and you send it back. We just ping pong. There's no activity. What's the activity? We just send it back and forth. That's what Tron is. Okay. Now, when you look at the Dex volume. That is actual real activity. It's like you're in a city and businesses are transacting with each other. You got the cafe making the orange juice. You got the police walking around making sure everyone's got their back straight. You got the fluffy slipper shop over there on the corner. You got an empire out there selling even more fluffy slippers. All of these economic activity. That's what we're looking at. We're looking at a microcosm of all this in crypto. So when you see a DEX, that's what you're actually looking at. And what does the number say? Well, it says Cardano's is... $20, $20 million for the day and Pulse Chain is $148 million. And note that this Pulse Chain was $330 million before. So I'm using condensed crash numbers. So even if even if Pulse Chain's numbers go down to $50 million, even $20 million, just let you know, even if Pulse Chain numbers match Cardano, hey, because we're so much cheaper, which I'm about to show you, it just screams to you what the future is going to look like, okay? That's why it makes it so obvious to me, but not everyone can see it, but hey, Please like, subscribe, all button, all we get to see this together. So Cardano, this is the DEXs. This is what you, just, what you want to see, okay? Now, I want you to know as well, you can fake it. Just like we saw on Binance, they start making fake coins. They do the fake volume, okay? So we can't we can't look at all of these just by themselves. We have to look at them all together. And we have to see if it makes sense, okay? Now, this is juicy. So get the pulp ready for this, all right? So this is juicy. So market cap for market cap, okay? Cardano is 13 billion market cap, all right? And it's down big, it's down 90%, all right? So you wanna know how high I think, <laughs> how high I think um, uh, Pulse Chain can go? You can have a look at this. So I'm gonna look at Cardano here. So this is the Cardano USD chart. I'm just gonna check now from the top. It went down 92%, it's down 87% off the top, okay? Just like everything else, that's fine. It's down 87%. So looking at this, right, it's still 13 billion, all right? And it's down 87%. So this to me, if Cardano, Cardano doesn't have to, because remember Cardano is in a third cycle curse. So this is important to know. So yes, I believe Cardano, yes, is, is it is underpriced and it is cheap. But I just just want you to know that a lot of these, it, you got to be careful because <laughs> there's a third cycle curse coming, right? One, you have first cycle, second cycle. Okay, and this was, these are big numbers. This was 420x for the first one, okay? And the next one was like 120X or something from that low, whatever it was, okay? So I don't know, maybe the next one's like a 30X. How long, how high would that bring? I wanna know, 30X, wouldn't that be fantastic? Even if it got 18, to, that'd be great. Even if it got a 20X to $8.50, $10, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic because this is beautiful, friends. Cardano up here was 100 billion market cap, 100B, okay? 100 billion. If Pulse Chain got to 100 billion, okay, you would get about 150x, okay. So just write that down. If Pulse Chain got to 100b, like ADA, it's 150x from day one sack, okay. So Pulse X would be divide that either by three or four, depending on the ratio, right? Maybe even divided by two. So anywhere from 30x to 75x. Just a rough guess. I hope there's more euphoria, okay. But we get to see these true numbers here. And what about ADA Ethereum, we're gonna come and have a look at this. This is Cardano versus Ethereum. You can see it's very low as well, okay? We're gonna continue. I'm gonna come back to this later. So Cardano has 13 billion liquidity, even though it's down 90%. Pulse Chain, one billion. That's right, one, one. So if you're new here, the real market cap of Pulse Chain, not the fake displayed ones, is you do $670 million at 0 0.001, all right? So now it's about 50% higher than that. So I think it's 0. Point, that's, a, that's the uh, price. And you divide that times that by 670 million, right? We could, or you could just do, yes, 670 million, right? Uh, I'll do the number wrong. I'll find it. Yeah, so it's 50% it's above the $670 million mark. So that's all you got to do. You do 50% times your 670 million and you have your about 1 billion. That's how we get it, okay? So you can look at it on a chart. That's why I always like to mark these out. Whenever we're looking at these, that's all you always see on my chart. I'll just write where the day one sack is so we never forget. You can see it right here. See this 0 0.001 at 
It's always marked there, you know what it is. And that's why you can just verify and go up here. It's around 50, 60%, you can see, right? So actually, their real market cap is actually displayed here. But a lot of people on other rankings and stuff, they're going to see the like 50 billion, trillions of dollars. They don't know what they're looking at, okay? And it's very interesting. Many people will say this, and I know all they're doing is describing the red candles. So when they see this, when they see, if this happens, right, when they see green candles, they'll open their eyes, all right? But this is okay. I'm not going to bother. My job is not here to show these people, hey, what's the right way? Because they're not going to buy anyway. They're putting in what, like $7? Who cares, right? They'll learn the hard way, just like everything else. And I don't want them to know. And you don't want them to know either. You might think, oh, we're going to educate. No, we don't. No, we don't, okay? There's only one education you need, okay? It's called the green candle education. When this pumps to the moon, everybody becomes geniuses. My little peanut rolling around with a little salt on it. Yes, it's going to be doing backflips in there. It's going to be laughing all the way to the bank with you. It's just watching these green candles happen. Everyone's like, wow, I can't believe this thing is happening. How is it? 50 trillion market cap. People don't understand. People don't, don't understand. Don't bother explaining to them. Just waste your breath, okay? All this information is here for free. Now, I have more juice. So we have the market cap here, but the market cap doesn't tell the full story. What tells a real story is what's under this. I have this juicy information with you. The ask side liquidity. Okay, so how much money is needed to give a certain price impact? Okay, so how much money do I need to put to push it up 2%? Okay, how much money? Cardano is 77 million. All right, so there is a website, Livecoin Watch. Okay, look at that, livecoinwatch.com. And what you can do is you can actually click, you can find, it's just a coin ranking site and you can find the liquidity and have a look at this. It's got the liquidity here. So you can have a see, you can have a look, you can see how thick this is. Look, the asks, see, 35 million, okay, just to push it up. The total liquidity, 74 million, all right? So these numbers, and there's perps, there's all this stuff going on too. People are willing to sit there iceberging and play around. That's why it sucks when there's perps all the time, but it's only good when we're wiping out the weak hands, okay? But you can see this number's huge. So even if there's discrepancy, I mean, there's a giant discrepancy here, okay? So really, I think I made a typo here. The read this number's like 36 million, but hey, it's still huge anyway. Now, what I did for Pulse Chain was I went to PulseX.com and I tried to just see what would give me a 2% price impact. It's just $230,000. That's all you need. There's no liquidity there. So yes, the weak hands dump. They do. But when we're going to pump up, there's not much in the wall to stand by. It's literally a bull charging. So think about this. You know, if you're going to put, this is crazy, right? Like $10 million would phenomenally thrash up the price of PLS. Now, of course, you're going to get people who are going to take profit as it's happening. But man, $10 million doing nothing for Cardano, same as many other coins. That's why you need low, low liquidity. Low liquidity is your enemy in down markets. That's why Hex hit minus 98%. But also when we go up, it is the best friend. You never even knew you had. You need that low liquidity. That's why Pulse Chain and Hex are going to keep doing all these random stuff here and there. That's why it's cool. Sit there, stake your Hex, do yield farming, right? Just sit there and just chill out, man. You're being paid to sit there and wait two, two and a half years. Right? So all these giant discrepancies in these valuations, okay? So Look at that, man. Even Pulse even being just 10 times easier to pump is huge, right? So Pulse Chain by all these metrics wins. So when you have a look at these, <clears throat> do we see the charts matching up? Yes, I do. Okay, this is Cardano ETH. And Cardano, when it goes down against Ethereum, stays there for quite a long time, okay? Cardano could be down here. It could have these little pop-up. You never know, right? Have this woohoo, come back down, no. And then, you know, might do something like this. You might think, oh, that's great. Should I buy it here? Well, here's a problem, right? This scale is playing an illusion on you, right? Look, I'm going to get the ruler here and show you how much you make at the top. You're going to have to be getting out at like 230%. See this area? You'd have to be like, you have to be the wise person just get out here. Like, just think about that. Like, and that's, by the way, you are buying the bottom. You're literally buying the bottom. This is the bottom, okay? Think about everybody else here. Think about the other baby dolls who are like long from here. There were people long end of 2021 because it was cheap. Look at this. They're only going to get 120%, a 2x on their Ethereum. So if they had two Ethereum in, they'll get like four. 
right? So one becomes two, two becomes four. That's not that much, man, for all the risk you're taking. So they're really hoping Cardano is able to break this range and like show Ethereum in the world, hey, we are something, you know? That's what everybody's hoping happens. Everyone's hoping this happens. But even then, three to four X, how much are you willing to risk for that, man? And how long are you willing to sit? Three to four X is okay against Ethereum. Against Ethereum. It's very good. But when you're doing a comparison here, and you're probably wondering, hey, show me the Pulse ETH chart. Here it is. I constructed it here for you, okay? You construct it here. So your WPLS USDC divided by ETH USDT, and there you go here. So it is so cheap. So if you want to know, okay, where would this chart go if Ethereum went up 50% to like 2,700 and Pulse Chain went like 15x? Okay, where would this chart go? You get to see where it went. It goes up to this line here. But look at this line here. That's 10x, man. 10x. So one ETH in Cardano, if you pick the bottom, one ETH gets you two, maybe three, two to three, okay? But here, one ETH gets you 10. That's how deeply undervalued it is. And you only have to throw these out there. You already know Pulse Chain is cycle one. Cardano is going to cycle three. You know what I mean? I've already shown you these volumes. You know, a lot of people, they might get upset by these volumes. Hey, I don't make this up. Like this is, yes, Cardano for three, for entering its third cycle, only doing $20 million. Everybody says, yes, it's going to keep going up. It's going to keep, I know, man, I've owned Cardano. I want to let you know, I love Cardano. Okay, I love it. I do love it. Community, great, contrarian and everything. I'm just telling you, hey, on these metrics, it ain't so cheap anymore, okay? So when I buy Cardano here, all right? So obviously I love Cardano, okay? Love Cardano, woohoo, yeah, he ran it all the way. I really thought it was gonna hit eight to 10 bucks. I got out, I got it out, sacrifice the Pulsex. So when you're looking at these, it's not about, hey, is one thing gonna win and the other thing is gonna lose? These are just relative, okay? And yes, just to let you know, Pulse Chain makes everything look expensive everything and you're probably wondering when is the price of pulse chain going to get expensive i don't know the answer but i can tell you it probably has something to do with bitcoin and ethereum repricing higher okay so this was the poop zone for bitcoin yes we probably need bitcoin to really crush the bears bitcoin has not crushed the bears right now bears still got some confidence they're like aha the bull trap the bull trap the bull trap they they keep thinking this but if Bitcoin just returns back to these 37K and then pops up to 48, comes back to 37, that would be enough. This chart, looking at this chart, would be enough for everyone to go, oh man, I missed the bottom. Why did I do this? You know, that's what everyone would be saying. Because I know, I know many people, I've got so many stories coming for you guys later on, right? I just don't want to, I don't want to jinx anything now. But in this poop zone, I know a lot of people, they bought property, they bought stocks, they missed the intergenerational, intergalactic, multi-billion dollar, easiest buy of all time. A lot of them did. I'm just going to shut my mouth, okay? Because, hey, you want to call me silly, stupid, criminal, criminal, all these? That's all right. You are nailing the coffin in yourself, and we're going to be partying naked with our little peanut brains later on. Not going to jinx anything. We're going to wait and see what that happens, okay? So there you go. We've looked at all the evidence. We've seen everything. So what do you do from here? Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. You can do what you want. Call it FUD, don't buy anything, don't click buy, I don't really care. I'm going to just tell you what I'm doing. I don't have any Cardano and I'm heavyweight in Pulse Chain, okay? Maybe the picture looks different in a year. Maybe the valuations are different. Maybe Pulse Chain's expensive. I don't know. But right now, cheap as chips, all right? My targets are still the same. I think against Ethereum, so obviously I want to look at the chart of truth. This was against Ethereum. If you're curious, okay, I think what Hex did against ETH, okay, Hex's first wave up was about this 10x against Ethereum, okay, and then its final wave up, I think it did another like 10 from there, okay, so that's, I know this sounds crazy, so that might be, hey, hey, first wave and then down, 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 sideways, and then maybe in 2025, it goes up and then it comes back like that, but then actually, we've unfortunately recovered the whole way, so what I've done is here, just to show you, so <clears throat> this part, this is the first wave. This is the Bitcoin halvening run. This is what we all want, okay? This part is 
everybody suffers because now we had to reprice. A lot of big wallets got to take profit out. We're waiting for Bitcoin to finally crash 70K. This is what happened in 2020, basically, and the first quarter of 2021. So Bitcoin was screaming, and then more people start coming in. They learn about crypto, and then they come in. They're like, oh, I can't buy this. Bitcoin's $30,000. Can you give me this $5 coin or 20 cent coin? That's the mentality that comes, okay? And then this wave is the, okay, Bitcoin and Ethereum have stopped. They're very high in price. Everything else has got low liquidity. The final flush up, you know, so... This is, the, this is what we're actually waiting for. You see this part, this little part here? This is what we're really waiting for. This is the euphoria. This is hopefully Bitcoin spot ETF. Everything's all over the news. All the metrics are going nuts. Maybe Apple bought Bitcoin. I don't know, something weird, like not weird, something crazy in 2025. If it all repeats together, this is the actual wave. This little poopy wave, this is for people who are like, Paper hands, they made a million, they made their first million, they want to get out. You know, these people, there's some people who sack like 700K, they're up 10X, so they want to get out. You know, they get at half, they cap all this rally, basically. This happens in every single coin, but this is not your retirement one. This is the retirement one. This is the one where nobody actually wants to get out ever because this is the one that blows everyone's face, okay? Now, Cardano had this wave twice. The first one was 420X total. The second one was 120x, you know, just pulse chains to suck one coin. So you tell me, baby dolls, are you going to remain a beautiful salt and vinegar chip or are you going to go the way that the doo-doo? You're my baby doll baby cake. Tell mum and dad you love him. Like, subscribe, button, and all. Catch you in the next one.